Major news for the Helium Network and all HNT holders today. The first major network carrier has partnered with Helium to bring 5G to their customers. This is extremely positive news that many would argue has been inevitable for some time. The announcement is clearly reflected here in the most recent six-hour candle. Perhaps this is the push Helium needed to break through a very pronounced resistance on the chart. In today's video, we will go through the details of the partnership and of the service and think about how the other major telecom carriers of the world might be feeling right about now. We will also touch on a recent API issue and a quick fix to get your app back working again. Stay tuned. Hello everybody and welcome back to another video here on the Crypto Compound channel, a monumental day for helium the people's network today october 26 2021 the first major telco carrier has officially partnered with helium to offer the 5g to their customer base this is tremendous news for the network and for hnt as you can see here hnt currently up seven percent on the day trying to fight through this this very, very strong resistance we have been seeing over the past weeks. Helium has turned around at this point almost 10 times in the recent weeks. This might be the news we need to break through this level and extend higher, perhaps to new all-time highs or to test or to certainly test this previous all-time high. Very exciting. But in today's video, we are going to be talking about the official announcement here, some of the talking points, the Dish Newsroom article here, some other 5G news and information here. And of course, we're gonna take a look at this article here on the Helium blog. But first, really quickly, I wanna to touch on something that has been impacting thousands of Helium apps across the world. There has been an API issue. I will put some uh, images on the screen to show what this will look like. This happened to me and uh, I immediately freaked out because I thought everything was gone. Of course it was not. It is a very, very easy fix all you have to do is go to the setting button at the bottom right hand corner of your app screen, scroll down to the API settings and toggle between the options there. I believe that the Helium API is the one that you will want to stay on, but toggle between those two APIs, close and open your app and you should be good to go. It should reestablish the connection to the correct API and you should be all set. All right, guys, I hope that helps some people are out there because I was very frustrated for a little bit until I figured that out, but it was just a little API glitch, all good now. So guys, back to the video. Here is the official announcement in the Discord. This, this intro is just a little nod to how far Helium has come from two years ago to now, having over 250,000 hotspots live across 22,000 cities in 144 countries. And now, of course, partnering with someone as large as Dish, the first major telco to partner with Helium to bring 5G to the people. This is tremendous news. A lot, as I mentioned in the intro, a lot of people will say that this was inevitable, this was bound to happen. And look, I do think that that is the case. And I think that it is the case that other telcos will not be able to not do the same thing now that Dish has done this. I, I of course, looking at Verizon, AT&T, and so forth, I think this is going to be something that they have to evolve into and innovate towards in order to keep up with the changing times and the power of the Helium network. As you can see here, they say today we take another huge step with the announcement of Helium 5G partnership between Dish and Helium Inc. An innovator in the telco space, Dish understands the tremendous impact blockchain can make on the industry and the benefits of an HNT incentive model. That is a huge, I'm so happy that they included that here in the main part of this announcement. The HNT incentive model is really what builds the people's network and what makes it so viable, so useful, and so easy to scale. The incentives are there for everyone, which is a beautiful, beautiful thing. I always say that, and that is the truth. With their partnership, Dish becomes the first major carrier to join us in our mission by extending the Helium network with customers deploying their own Helium 5G CBRS-based hotspots. And now they go on further and, and they discuss a little bit about the journey here that we've made it here, how it's become possible, the 5G tipping point. This announcement comes less than six months from when Helium 5G was approved by the community. Starting in September, Freedom 5 began shipping the first batch of compatible gateways to customers across the US with an incredible backlog of demand. That is true, the pre-order and the waitlist entries was sold out almost immediately 
or closed out almost immediately. It was insane. By the end of 2022, Freedom 5 predicts helium 5G could span over 40,000 small cells, making it larger than many small cell networks to date. As we've seen, Freedom 5 has been shipping out their 5G compatible small cell gateways, which is incredible. Uh, very on track. They are an incredible partner to have, and they are moving those devices incredibly quickly and on schedule, which is really awesome. They go on to say, we're also seeing partners like GigSky introduce the first mobile plan on Helium 5G and a significant increase in the network, network providers and MVNOs wanting to offer roaming on the Helium network to their own customer base, including Fortune 500 companies with IoT deployments, such as Volvo, Cisco to customers with compatible 5G phones. Just to clarify, the MVNOs they're mentioning here is a mobile virtual network operator. These are basically mobile phones and things that are on the move that need to connect to data and receive roaming data services. Now we have seen over the recent months, the announcements of the partnerships with GigSky and, and stuff like that. Those are smaller headlines, but this really, this dish carrier partnership is a ma major, major announcement. It is going to turn heads in the telco space. You know that companies, these other larger telco companies, Verizon, AT&T and so forth are going to notice this. They're going to have to start acknowledging Helium and the 5G that it can provide. And if we look here, guys, this is the actual Dish Newsroom article. They refer to Helium as a pioneer in the decentralized wireless network space. And they go on to explain how Dish will be the first major carrier to utilize the Helium network's unique blockchain-based incentive model with customers deploying their own 5G CBRS-based hotspots. As you can see, they go on to dive a little bit into how the Helium network actually works. Here, they're talking about how you can go out, purchase one of these things, and actually start mining what they call here, HNT, obviously, a Helium network-based token. This is the incentive-based model they are talking about. This is what makes Helium so powerful, and anyone that has a miner, whether it's a regular one or a 5G one, are part of this ecosystem, this network, this incentive-based model, and are contributing to the growth and scale at a huge, huge pace for this network. It's just amazing to actually see all of this come into fruition after tracking Helium for so long and seeing where it's come from, all the way from the original announcement from Freedom Fi and 5G and stuff like that. This has been long in the making and it's amazing to see. And this is really gonna send shockwaves through the telco space because this is a totally new, totally different way of trying to understand a network and how to provide data services, 5G to customers all around the world without having a centralized company calling the shots and just making all of the decisions and pricing and everything and so forth. It seems as though Dish actually is a little bit ahead of its time with regards to some of the things it's been doing. It goes on to say that in 2014, became the largest company to begin accepting Bitcoin. I did not know that, that is very interesting. And it looks like they even went on to add Bitcoin cash. So, so it does seem like Dish perhaps is a very proactive company, always looking to innovate, always looking forward to the future and what the customer might want or need. Very interesting to see that. I did not know any of that, but really cool props to Dish for all of that. Down here, it seems they mentioned they actually also have a partnership with the Cardano blockchain. So they are no stranger to the crypto space, it seems like, which is really great. I'm very, very impressed by all of this. I'm very, very happy to see all of these different kinds of partnerships and uh, initiatives that Dish has been taking. They have a quote here from Chris Ergen, the head of Dish Office of Innovation, and he goes on to say, blockchain technologies hold tremendous potential for the wireless industry and Helium is among the leading innovators who have demonstrated that the blockchain incentive works by creating the largest decentralized unlicensed wireless network across the US. I think he could extend that and actually say across the globe. Of course, the Helium network has over 250,000 hotspots currently across the globe. Amazing to see that the recognition that Helium is getting here. And he goes on to say, as we build out Dish's 5G facilities, based network, we will continue continue to look for innovative technologies and business models that complement or support our wireless business. Amazing to see this here, guys. Really cool to see this on the actual Dish Newsroom site from written from Dish. Here is a look at the actual 5G page on the Helium website. And you can see here now in the Helium 5G ecosystem, we have Freedom 5, GigSky, and Dish all here. Of course, here's the new partnership announcement with Dish. Really amazing stuff. 
glad to see that this is updated with everything right here, links to the blog posts and everything. I'll also be putting all the links to everything in the video in the description below. Let's also take a look here at Amir Halim's blog post on the Helium blog. Amir's blog post has a lot of similarities, a lot of the same language as we see here in the Discord announcement. However, he does add a few little interesting tidbits down here. He elaborates a little bit on what they mentioned in the beginning about how Helium imagined getting 5G from your neighbor. He goes on to say, imagine a city like Miami powered by Helium 5G where the customer benefits from the flywheel of network incentives and the connected infrastructure it enables. While it sounds like an audacious vision far from what we know, it is actually a reality just around the corner thanks to the community and Helium 5G partners like Dish, FreedomFi, and Gig Sky. Soon you will be able to get 5G from your neighbor. Really amazing stuff here, guys. What do you think about this? Do you guys think that the other major telcos are going to have to act, going to have to add this sort of capability to their networks and partner with 5G to keep up with the innovation that DISH is moving forward with? This is really a monumental turning point here for the Helium community. We should all be extremely excited and happy. And hopefully we can even see this price chart. We could hopefully see this candle make its way up above this orange and green zone and move higher. It's really crazy to me how there, there's some incredible news like this, monumental news for a network, a decentralized global network growing at this rate. And we do not see the price reflected yet. I think perhaps maybe we just need a, uh, maybe we need like a dog mascot or something like that. Maybe some some nifty NFTs to get people involved. But guys, look, as long as you're here and you're aware that this is happening, this is still the very beginning of the network. It's amazing if you're here, if you're here and you're listening to this, just know you are early. Once this really gets rolling and the dominoes start to fall, we will really see this network snowball into a global phenomenon. And of course, we will see that reflected in the price of HNT here. Guys, let me know your thoughts. What do you think? What are you seeing? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. I hope you guys are able to fix that API issue on your app if you had it. But guys, let me know your thoughts. That is all I have for today. Please like and subscribe if you have not already. But just like that, this video is over and I'll see you next time.